Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for taking some time this morning to join us. My name is Rob Fabian. I'm the Director of Marketing and Communications for Age of Central Texas. We are a regional nonprofit organization based here in Austin, Texas, that serves older adults and family caregivers with information, resources, and direct programming to help you thrive in your journey as you age. You know, this month, is National Family Caregiver Month. And so we are partnering today with the City of Buda and the Buda Task Force for Seniors to bring you a wonderful webinar about locating and accessing resources for caregivers. For those of us that are caregivers, we know that a lot of times it's difficult to find the resources that we need in the community. A lot of times we know that we have an issue that we need to solve. We know what's wrong, but we don't really know where to find the help. Many times we don't even know which questions to ask. So that's what we're going to cover today to give you the knowledge and some of the resources that are available right here in the Central Texas area to help you in your aging and caregiving journey. Before we get started, just a couple of really quick housekeeping items. Since this is a webinar, we certainly want you to participate with us today. We want you to be able to ask all of the questions that you would like to have answered. We have Natalie with us, who's one of the leading experts in Central Texas on locating resources. So ask those questions today. So right here down at the bottom of your window, you have a chat feature. Looks like one of those thought bubbles that you see in the comic strips. Click on that, and then you'll be able to type in your questions while we're doing today's presentation. Once Natalie is finished with her presentation, then we're going to do a facilitated question and answer, and we're going to answer all your questions. So be sure and ask those questions because this time is for you. This is why we're doing this is so that you have the opportunity to have all of your questions answered today. Also, once we are done with this seminar, we're going to send you resources, but we're also going to send you a survey. And so we ask you to take just a couple of minutes and fill out that survey online. It'll only take you about two minutes, but that information is very important for us because it helps us plan for the next webinar. So take just a few minutes and fill out that information for us if you don't mind. Finally, we are recording this presentation today. So if for any reason you need to leave us early or you might have a technical issue on your side, don't worry. We're going to send you the link to the recording. That way you can go back and look at it again. You can share it with friends and family and you'll have that as a continuing resource. So it's my pleasure to introduce to you Natalie Alcorda. She is the program director here at Age of Central Texas for our Resource and Information Center. She is a wealth of knowledge when it comes to all of the resources that are available here for us in Central Texas. So Natalie, I'm going to turn it over to you. Thank you and welcome everyone. Um, I hope you are all uh, staying warm and um, hopefully enjoying the, the cooler temps. I know we have a, there's a tiny bit of a, a cooler window here in Texas. Um, I'm going to talk to you today about um, the wonderful resources that Central Texas has to offer. Um, and so let me get my screen going to share. Let's see. I also want to just mention to everyone, um, Rob, I just want to make sure that we can see that. Can everyone see that? Looks great. Perfect. Um, I want to mention to everyone before we get started, um, I am going to be sharing a lot of information. So um, I and, and everything will be sent to you after this presentation. Um, so this, it, which includes this PowerPoint, you will all receive a PDF version of the PowerPoint, which has a bunch of information. Um, and then also you will receive additional resources um, attached to that email um, and the recording of this presentation. So um, if I move through this um, at, a, at a quick pace, um, just know that all of this is coming to you. And if you miss something, um, you know, it, you can always reach out to, out to us after the fact and, and, you know, ask additional questions or 
drop questions into the chat box, um, but just, you know, sit back, um, listen, um, ask questions in the chat box, and then um, just know that all of this will be packaged up and, and provided to you after this presentation. So again, I'm Natalie Alcorta. I manage the Information and Resource Center uh, with Age of Central Texas. Um, I, I'm going to start with my program. Um, the Information and Resource Center is, uh, is a, a place that you can call um, or email um, to inquire about resources in our area, um, whether it's directly related to aging, um, older adults, and also caregiving. Um, I can help with navigating the, the many resources that we do have available um, and send you exactly what um, you need in the moment. Um, and we can also just brainstorm uh, ideas uh, related to your current situation as a caregiver or an older adult. <clears throat> We do offer, I also um, partner with, uh, with Rob Favion, who just spoke, um, and we hold free seminars, just as this one, um, educational opportunities to the community. Um, and then wonderful conferences. We have several conferences um, that are throughout the year um, related to aging, older adults, and then a couple of them that are specific to caregiving. Um, so, if you haven't done so already, um, I encourage you to, to subscribe to our email list um, so that you do keep up your, yourself updated um, with current events that, that are coming. Uh, we are planning for the 2022 year. And so I can't believe it's already gonna be 2022. Um, but uh, so get on that list and, and stay updated with our future educational opportunities that again are free to you. Um, I'm going to talk, a, I want to talk a little bit about uh, our health equipment blending program. This is also another age program. Um, this is free, durable medical equipment to the community. Anyone of any age um, can access this program. We, we hand out um, gently used durable medical equipment. And as you can see here, um, some of the items listed are the ones that we give out frequently. So we, if you are in need of a wheelchair, uh, a rollator, which is the, the stand, it is a walker with the wheels and seat, um, shower chairs, transfer benches for a tub, um, toilet seat risers, bedside commodes, that type of DME, we um, encourage you to give us a call and schedule a, an appointment to pick up the item if we do have it available. Um, and again, this is free. Uh, you know, we, we are around and, and exist um, for, to, to bridge gaps, you know, if maybe insurance is taking a little bit longer um, to provide specific DME that you need in the moment, you can always call us and we can loan it. Um, until you get your brand new piece of item or piece of equipment. Um, another really wonderful program that we have is our incontinent supply program. And we, we know um, those of you who, who use these items know that they are so expensive. Um, and we can help with that cost um, through a monthly incontinence uh, product you know, supply. Um, we will often give out two packages of the adult underwear, um, bladder control pads, bed pads, wipes. Um, this is again, free to you. We do not, we're not able to give out an entire month's worth, um, but we can at least help with the cost um, to get you through quite a bit of that time. Again, this is accessed monthly, anytime during the month, um, but you can have access to this monthly. And it's free. One of our other programs is called Caregiver U, and this is specific to family caregivers. Um, we have a couple of, of classes that we teach out in the community through partner organizations. Um, one of the classes is called Powerful Tools for Caregivers. This particular class is for any 
any type of caregiver. This class is going to give you the tools that you need to take care of yourself um, and also your care recipients through communication, through um, organization, resources, how to access resources, where to go. So that is through powerful tools for caregivers. Um, we have another program that is specific to family care caregivers and that's Savvy Caregiver. This particular program is for the dementia caregiver. Um, that is a very special type of caregiving. Um, and so within that particular class, um, they also will touch on how to locate resources, how to take care of yourself while caring for someone else, and also communication tips and tools related to caring for someone living with dementia. As you can see, there's another class listed and that's called a matter of balance. And that is a falls prevention class. And that's for anyone um, really of any, of any age. Um, it's, that class is going to help you identify areas in your home that could potentially lead to a fall. Um, that is also going to, that class also offers a, um, a component of uh, exercises um, to strengthen um, certain muscles. Also, um, the safety around if you do fall, um, what do you do? Um, so that's the a matter of balance class, and that is that's for anyone, um, not specific to family caregiving. These classes are free to you, and they are all listed on our Age of Central Texas website. That class list is frequently updated um, whenever uh, new classes. Um, are presented. And so I encourage you to check if you are interested in this particular program in any of these classes to check the website um, for periodically just to see if there's a class that fits um, you in terms of where you're located, um, time. Um, I will say that these classes are six week courses in it depends on who's teaching them, but um, sometimes they meet once a week for six weeks or they meet twice a week. Um, but that was, again, is all listed on our website. Also, um, with, with Caregiver U, these are the following classes are condensed classes. So as I mentioned just a second ago, the other classes that I discussed are six week courses. These are the following ones are condensed into a week. We understand that there are caregivers um, and older adults that are still working. And so uh, a commitment of a six week class might be a little bit more challenging. So we wanted to offer um, a, a condensed version that you can attend within a week. Um, we have, again, we have empowering you to be a smart and healthy caregiver. This is um, a lot like the powerful tools for caregiver class. This is again, going to help you um, take care of yourself uh, and, and, and your person um, through organization, resources, uh, communication tips and tools. We also have the condensed version of um, a matter of balance, which is the empowering you to prevent falls. So we have a, a falls prevention op option. And then we have your empowering you to be a strategic dementia caregiver. Again, you're going to, the, you'll, you'll learn a lot about what is in the six week class um, and, uh, but just in a very, you know, condensed uh, version of the dementia caregiving um, savvy caregiver class. Again, these classes are listed on our website and updated as soon as um, one class is available. Um, again, they are at no cost to you. Um, you just find the class, register, and you will receive your materials that you need um, in order to complete the class. One, uh, one also really important point that I love to make about this particular program is that you are in a very intimate setting with other caregivers or other older adults. Um, classes are small and you get an opportunity to meet other caregivers um, who are in a similar situation. Um, and, and that's nice um, to, to have that sense of, um, you know, you're not alone in this, in this journey. 
And so that's a really, that's another really powerful piece of, of these classes is the, the group that you get to connect with. Age offers another wonderful program, which is called Memory Connections Online. Um, this one is a small group. Again, um, this is for individuals who are living with uh, an early memory loss diagnosis. Um, and, and this is a, an, a, a program that people can access online um, that will, they'll get to participate in brain boosters, uh, word games, um, they get to enjoy some live music, music therapy. And one really important um, component of this program is that they have um, the connection and the ability to socialize with other individuals who are also living with early memory loss um, and also find support within a support group. Um, and so, so this particular program is, and I'll show you in a second, uh, it's a weekly program. Um, it, we also, this, this does have a cost connected to it. Um, and I believe it's $100 per month for the weekly activities. So you have access to the, you know, all of the activities, the social hours and the support group. And so here's just a little bit more of information of what it looks like. Um, again, it's online and it's for the individual who is living with memory loss. And here's just a, a sample schedule of what, of what a week looks like for this individual. Um, and I will mention that there is an intake and assessment component to this if you are interested. Um, because they will uh, tailor the programs to your individual and meet them where they are cognitively. We want everyone who attends this program to, um, to have fun and, and find value and feel successful whenever they attend programs. So they are connected to the appropriate programming for, for them. Um, another program that Age of Central Texas offers is our Thrive Social and Wellness Center. And these are our in-person respite programs. We have one located in Central Austin, <clears throat> and then we have one in Round Rock. This is, um, these are operated Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 5.30. We have individuals who attend a couple of days out of the week, because that's what works for them. And then we have other individuals who attend all five days. Um, this particular program is, uh, has a flat rate, a daily rate of $70 a day. And um, we have a full-time nurse on, on staff. Um, their days are filled with lots of different activities um, and socialization opportunities. Um, we offer, uh, a small breakfast, lunch, and then we offer a snack in the afternoons. Um, and then we also offer transportation to our program if your person is safe to ride our, our transportation. And, um, and also um, within the map of, of our transportation services. So there's that option to attend this program. I also wanna mention that our our Thrive Center does accept Medicaid benefits, VA benefits, um, long-term care insurance, um, if, if, that, if you have that. So the, we do have different ways to access this, this particular program. Um, and again, the, the private rate fee is $70 per day. Here is a Thrive Center sample schedule. And as you can see, it is full of just different activities. Um, through Zumba, we have, uh, you know, brain exercise activities, physical, creative. Um, and so, so yes, if you're interested in learning more about this program, I encourage you to call Age of Central Texas, 
we will figure out which location is would be best for you and connect you to that particular program director to get the process started. So we're now going into the many wonderful resources available to us here in the Central Texas area and in Buda in the Hayes County. Um, this particular uh, resource that I'm on right now is called Caregiving in Central Texas, and it's a community resource guide. It is a wonderful collaboration of many agencies in our Central Texas region. Uh, we all come together. We make sure that the information in this guide is updated, um, and it's it's. It, I'll show you this a little bit later, and everyone will receive this 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 resource in the follow-up email, but it is a wonderful guide. It's, it's organized. Um, it talks about care management, um, transportation, support groups, um, hospice, palliative care, anything related to, to, to caregiving, and also just aging in Central Texas. I think it's also just a really wonderful resource guide for you know, an older adult Aging, aging in our in our area. So this is one a wonderful resource. Again, this is this will be available to everyone um, as a PDF. If you we do have some hard copies of, of this particular guide. So if you are interested in having a book, um, then reach out to us and we can schedule a time for you to, to pick up that book. Another wonderful resource guide that I love to give to everyone and you will all receive too, is a, our, our ride guide. Um, this is through the Office of Mobility Management <clears throat> and put together, um, it can be accessed through Capital Metro as well. Um, but this particular guide, and I'll give everyone a, a sneak peek at this later. Um, this particular guide is everything transportation. And um, we all know that transportation can be extremely challenging um, in our area, but this is a really wonderful guide. It, it will give you steps on how to, um, how to access Capital Metro, who to call, um, the local volunteer programs that, that are available in our area, in the surrounding areas. So not just Travis County, but the surrounding counties as well. This is a wonderful resource guide for when it comes to transportation. Um, another resource I'd like to share with everyone is 211. Um, this is, they offer bilingual services. It's free, it's free to the community, and they can also provide referral services. Um, it's, it's a great go-to if maybe you don't have, you know, your resource guide handy or, um, you know, some of the other, you know, resources that are shared today readily available. This is an easy an easy number to call as well um, to, to access resources in our area. Another resource uh, that I love to share too, because everyone has access to this, is the findhelp.org, um, which was formerly Aunt Bertha. Um, but if you go to findhelp.org, you can input the specific resource or information that you're looking for, and it will generate a, a list of resources near you. Um, and, and, and so it's just, it's a wonderful tool to use and just to have, again, it's free. Um, and they will, they, you know, it'll generate a really wonderful list of, of local organizations and agencies that can assist you with whatever need that you, you have in that moment. Um, and that could be, you know, housing, uh, financial assistance, food, um, you know, food pantries, you can, that's a really wonderful resource to go to as well. So um, if you don't know the Area Agency on Aging, you do now. Um, they are a wonderful organization that was established through the Older Americans Act. Um, the Area Agency offers so many programs um, for older adults and for 
older individuals in our, in our community. Specifically for caregivers, they have a caregiver support program that, um, that offers a, an assessment of needs. Um, they can offer a temporary respite program because we know as caregivers, um, you need a break and they can offer that. It's a temporary service again, but, and it's at no cost to you, the, the recipient, um, but it can offer that, that break. And they can also connect you as a caregiver and your care recipient to additional resources in the community through referrals. Um, and, and sometimes that if you're a dementia caregiver, you have access to a, a dementia expert um, to, to talk to, um, to learn from. And so this is through the caregiver support program um, with the Area Agency on Aging. Um, they serve a 10 county region. Um, so the, the Area Agency on Aging of the Capital Area, this, this specific information that's on your screen right now is um, the information that you need for your specific uh, area if you're joining us from Travis County and our surrounding areas or counties. Um, they also just, again, they are a wealth of knowledge when it comes to resources and information in the community. Um, their ombudsman program is incredible too. This is a, this is a program, um, the ombudsmen are advocates for individuals who are living in a residential care community. So that's an assisted living or a memory care facility. Um, the, and um, if there are any complaints or issues, the ombudsman program um, can, can assist families and individuals. Um, they also have the benefits counseling program. So if you have any questions about Medicare, call them. Their benefits counseling program is incredible. Um, their services, again, are at no cost to you. They will help you understand Medicare that's changing every year and, and often confusing. Um, they can help you find uh, savings programs that can help with, with prescriptions. Also, they can help you uh, figure out which plans are local to our area. So anything Medicare related, um, maybe you're, you're about to turn 65 and you need to start planning for this um, or your person is, I encourage you to call them. They can help walk you through all of that information. Um, again, they offer respite assistance um, and they also offer a care coordination. So if you are an older adult in our community and you need some help at home, um, the Area Agency on Aging is, is a wonderful resource to call when it comes to um, just helping you at the house. Again, it's temporary, um, but it is, it's, it's a great way to, to receive some help in the near future. And then also at that same time, you're planning for longer term care. What, what are my next steps once this particular program is, is over? And they can help you um, walk through that as well. Another wonderful resource I encourage everyone to have on their, on their refrigerator is the Capital Area Aging and Disability Resource Center. Um, this is, they can help with, um, with energy costs, with your utility uh, costs. Um, they also have a lifespan respite grant for, for individuals um, who are paying for respite services. Um, I encourage you to look at their website because they do have you know, eligibility requirements, but if you are a caregiver and you need some assistance financially with in-home care costs because you need a break, um, or if, you are even, if your person is even attending one of our Thrive Centers um, and you need some assistance with that cost, um, they can offer a, a temporary, uh, a grant opportunity to assist with that. And that's through their lifespan grant program. Um, they can also help with housing navigation and um, they're just a really wonderful resource to call as well when you have questions about services in our area. Uh, 
Um, housing comes up a lot uh, when I, you know, am going through calls. Um, and so these are a couple of, of housing locator resources um, through the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. Um, you, you can find um, homeless resources, uh, affordable um, housing for individuals um, with special needs or um, just, you know, listed here, just different, different, it depends on, you know, the category of, of housing that you're looking for, but you can absolutely go to this website and, and use this to, to find um, the housing that is uh, specific to your needs. So another, uh, another request I get a lot is, um, how do we find a residential care community and memory care? Um, we have a lot here in the Austin and surrounding areas. How do I find out which one is best for my person or even for myself if you're planning ahead <clears throat> or at that moment in your life? Um, there, are, there are a couple of resources that I always share. One is through the Texas Health and Human Services Long-Term Care Provider Search. This website is another uh, way to search for um, facilities that accept Medicare, Medicaid. Um, you can locate skilled nursing, um, assisted livings. Um, that's, a, that's a wonderful search engine to, to use. Um, also, I encourage people to connect with one of our local senior living advisors. Um, senior living advisors are at no cost to, to you as the consumer. Um, what they can help with is, is, is finding the, the place, you know, helping you with that search, that list of, of places that match your financial um, situation, uh, where you wanna live. So the location, um, memory care uh, facilities, um, so they can help, they will ask you all these questions um, and they can help reduce that search down to, you know, several options um, that are specific to your needs. Um, and then you, as, as you know, as a consumer can go and, um, and look into those places. They, uh, they, the senior living advisors are compensated by uh, the actual care community that you choose. So their services to you, again, are free. Um, they are compensated by that care community. Um, and they're just a really wonderful resource here in our, in our, in our area that, um, that I, I always share with people. Um, and then you have the medicare.gov uh, website. This is a, a great tool to use when you want to read reviews and um, ratings on on particular places. It's a it's a really great tool to to have um, when it comes to finding a a care community or memory care. Um, so one of uh, one of an, another program that we have here in, in our area is Meals on Wheels of Central Texas. Um, they, I, I love to, to talk about Meals on Wheels because they just, they do more than just delivering meals. Um, they have an in-home care program. Um, so not a lot of people know about that, but there is a, a, a program that they can offer with, um, to help with non-medical needs through their in-home care. They do have a private pay um, option and then they do have sliding scale option. Um, and so I encourage you, if you are in need of in-home care, that assistance with maybe some light cooking and cleaning, um, maybe you need some assistance dressing, um, I encourage you to, to connect with Meals on Wheels uh, to inquire about their in-home care program. They also have a home repairs program um, and, and can assist with some minor home repairs. Um, and then they also have a PALS pet assistance program, which is um, incredible 
Um, they can assist older individuals um, or just people in the community um, who maybe live alone, they have a pet, um, are having, they have a, a procedure that they have to have done and they need some assistance with their pets. Um, they, they can help with that. Um, and then they have their grocery delivery for older adults through their HOPE program. So I just like to mention Meals on Wheels because it's not just, a, it's just not, you know, meals, it's they have the in-home care, the, the pet assistance and, and some home repair options as well. Um, Family Elder Care is also another wonderful organization in our area. Um, they have a guardianship program. So if you are an older adult or know someone who maybe doesn't have any family nearby um, or they need someone to help assist with um, decisions that need to be made um, and they don't want to ask family or don't have anyone else to ask, their guard the Family Elder Care Guardianship Program is, is a wonderful program for them to look into um, because they can um, take on that, that guardianship of the individual. Um, they also offer in-home counseling services and um, the Lifetime Connections Without Walls. And I hear that program is, is exciting um, and it's uh, over the phone um, and you get to participate in activities. Um, so it's, it's another way to socialize. Um, they also have a money management and service coordination program. So, um, and, and from what I understand, it's, uh, it's a little bit of case management when it comes to that. Um, they also, that listed here, have a rapid housing program. So if an individual is in immediate need of housing, I encourage you to contact Family Elder Care um, and they can assist with, with that type of um, information and, and resource. Um, I would also like to mention AARP Texas. They have wonderful resources for older adults and caregivers. It's, they have a, a which everyone will receive after this. Um, they have a prepare to care guide for caregivers that is just a really wonderful um, booklet of all the things to think of um, and, to, and to plan for and to get organized for. Um, and so, they have just like I, I've listed here, the virtual education programs, um, the caregiving assistance, community referrals. Um, so AARP is, a, is another wonderful resource here in our, in our area. The Alzheimer's Association is also, every, all the resources here are incredible. Um, and, and I think so highly of it, all of them. Um, but the Alzheimer's Association uh, offers um, online resources and support um, to both individuals living with um, Alzheimer's and their care, their caregivers. Um, they have educational programs. Um, they have a wonderful list of respite care um, that is provided out in the community, um, which you will also receive. Um, and then they have a great list of uh, support groups that are in our area. And through their online, uh, they have a, a, another you know, online uh, resource um, option. So you can generate you know, all the resources. Alzheimer's Texas, um, I'm sorry, the, the Alzheimer's Texas respite list is what you're gonna receive in their support groups. But Alzheimer's Texas um, is also a, another local uh, organization that can assist with um, support when it comes to older adults and, and their family caregivers. So yes, they, have a, they also have a wonderful list of respite care um, for the person living with, uh, with Alzheimer's um, dementia. Um, and then they also have a really great list of support groups in our area. Um, again, that will be shared. Um, they also have this toll-free helpline that um, I encourage you to also put on your refrigerator um, to have um, in, in that's just a it's a wonderful uh, it's a wonderful resource for for caregivers um, to to utilize if you need to talk to someone um, and you need some some pressing resources and support. 
NAMI Central Texas um, we, touches on mental health, um, which is extremely important um, as you are, uh, as we're just navigating life, right? Um, just moving through, through life. Um, NAMI offers uh, education and uh, support groups um, that are free to you. And, um, and I encourage you to, to look into that if you are feeling um, like you might need some, some help when it comes to um, your mental health. Um, this is just one of several uh, really wonderful uh, resources here in our community when it comes to legal assistance. Um, we have, and Age can offer uh, you a list of really wonderful elder law attorneys and also affordable legal assistance, just like Texas Rio Grande Legal Aid. Um, this is, uh, I, I encourage anyone who is um, questioning any kind of documents um, related to, you know, just getting your paperwork in place, advanced directives, um, all, of, all of those types of, of legal questions or documents that are somewhat sometimes hard to, to understand to, to connect with um, local legal resources. And again, uh, we can offer affordable options. Um, there are a couple of other options here in our area that are affordable. Um, and then we have a, a wonderful list of elder law attorneys who have um, assisted many, many families who have reached out to Age of Central Texas um, and have helped people get through um, the Medicaid process or um, uh, estate planning um, and can connect you to financial planners. Um, so there, there are lots of resources around uh, legal assistance, both affordable and, um, you know, a, more of a private pay. Um, another really wonderful uh, opportunity to connect with people um, and also resources in your particular area are through senior activity centers. Um, here are uh, several here in our area. Um, we have the South Austin Senior Activity Center, the Lamar and the Conley Guerrero Senior Center. Um, we have a lot of, of people who reach out to our organization who attend those, those centers um, and are connected to resources. Again, that's, that's a really great neighborhood hub to go to as well. So in Hayes, in Hayes County, um, I have a, a couple listed. We have the Onion Creek Senior Center, um, which I'll, I'll mention again here in a little bit. Um, the Onion Creek Senior Center is, is in the Kyle Area Senior Zone. Um, I also included the San Marcos Senior Citizen Center, which is uh, located in the Community Action um, uh, Building. Um, these are, again, all really great places to connect with other people. Um, socialize. I know that they have lots of different activities to get you out of the house. I know it's been a little bit challenging with COVID, but um, I, I, I do know that they are safely, uh, you know, beginning to, to gather again um, for, for some programming. Um, but again, there are a lot of connections that are made and information and resources that are shared amongst individuals who attend uh, programs and uh, at, at these local senior centers. So I encourage you to, to check them out and um, so I'm gonna dive into a little bit of transportation. I mentioned, a, I mentioned transportation a little while ago with the ride guide. Um, and uh, again, that's a wealth of knowledge, but specific to the Buda area is the STAR Senior Transportation Service. Um, so I, again, you're gonna receive all of this, so you don't have to read through all of this information. This is for you for later, if you haven't utilized or are not aware of this particular program in the Buda area. Um, but this is a, a tr transportation resource to you. Um, and so there is a form on their website to, uh, to inquire um, and to register. And it, um, 
can be accessed, um, you know, following this, this, this presentation, you'll have that information if you want to look into this a little bit more, but there is a Buda Star Senior Transportation Service opportunity for you. Another, uh, another transportation resource that, that serves um, rural areas um, that also is in the Hayes County area is CARTS. Um, and they, uh, they, they are also another transportation resource for your specific Hayes County area. And as you can see listed here, they, they do service um, several areas of like Travis, Williamson, uh, Caldwell, Bastrop, Blanco, and Burnett. Um, and, uh, and so this is also a great, great resource. And check the time. So a couple of additional resources that I'd just like to share with everyone um, are again, support groups. Um, and I um, said that I would mention the Onion Creek Senior Center. Um, I actually facilitate a support group there for caregivers. Um, we meet at the Onion Creek Senior Center on the third Tuesday of every month. Um, we just resumed meeting in person, which is really nice. Um, and, and you get that extra level of connection with people. Um, so again, the third Tuesday of the month from 12 to one, we meet at the Onion Creek Senior Center. You, you'll also receive some information on that. I'm gonna send out a list of support groups. Um, but connecting uh, with other people through support groups is, it, to me, you know, is, is just so valuable. Um, you get to, there's a lot of brainstorming that goes into to these groups. Um, there's a there's there's the connection that you get to make with people who who understand um, what it is that you know you are are experiencing and, and going through as a family caregiver. So I encourage you to look into into what we offer uh, when it comes to support groups. Um, again, we invite people to just join. You do not have to share. Um, you can just come observe. There's so much that can be learned from just listening to others talk. Um, and I, one thing that I really love about the support groups is um, how creative everyone has to be. Uh, or, you know, at some point, I feel like caregiving is super creative where you have to figure out ways to best communicate or care for your person. Um, and so it's really, it's really special to see that happen. Um, within the support groups. And then long, you know, some people are, are friends um, beyond the support groups. So, um, so yes, everyone will, will receive that information, but I also just love to, to remind people that, you know, there's a lot of support and information that can be shared um, through, through groups, through, through the support groups. Um, the, you know, I always encourage people to seek out counseling services. We do have a list of local um, counseling options for, uh, for our area, um, you know, caregiving um, and, and, and sometimes aging is just hard sometimes. And, and sometimes we need a little bit of support that maybe we're not able to get uh, within the home and, and talking to someone or a professional is always, um, can, it can be beneficial. Um, I also would like to mention geriatric care managers. Um, this is an individual in the community that can help you with long-term planning. Um, they can also help with establishing resources. Um, so their, their services do have a fee connected to them, um, but I also really do think that they, uh, they offer so much um, when it comes to uh, just assisting families um, who are planning ahead for the caregiving journey um, or who are thrown into it unexpectedly, they're a really great resource to just help you gather um, yourself and all the information and resources and services available to move forward and help you establish all of that. Um, and uh, I also encourage people to seek out disease-specific organizations. Um, 
if an individual is living with Parkinson's or a specific type of dementia, Google local agencies, there are, are more than often uh, support groups connected to that particular agency and um, can provide support and education. Um, so again, just putting that in your ear to, to Google disease specific um, organizations and um, subscribe to caregiving um, newsletters. Uh, there's, a, there's a specific one that I, I am part of, um, which is daily caregiving. And um, that's, that particular uh, website will generate um, or send out really helpful information. It's just related related to caregiving, especially when it, when you're getting closer to the holidays, they send out specific like caregiving and, and, and the holidays type of information and support. So, um, so those are just a, a few more um, resources that I like to mention. I, I know that that was a lot. I do wanna leave time for questions, um, but again, just know that you're going to get a PDF version of this of this program um, and a bunch of resources that um, I discussed today. And so please, if you have questions, drop them into the chat box. I'm going to um, stop sharing. Yes, as Natalie said, if you've got questions, be sure and type those into the chat box for us. Um, we won't, if, I know a couple people uh, raised their hand, but if you'll type instead into the chat box, because the way webinars are set up, we can't have you actually join us and voice your questions. So we'll need you to type them in the chat box. Uh, Natalie, I want to give a plug for our partners in today's presentation, which is the city of Buda. Yeah, the City Council there established a few years ago the Task Force on Aging for the City of Buda, and that task force has been very active in creating a lot of programming in the Hayes County area. And one of the things that is available for anyone who lives in the Buda areas, you can contact City Hall and you can get assistance with your caregiving and your aging questions. So they have got folks that can help you with at City Hall. And so that is a wonderful resource. Of course, the library there in the brand new city hall is also a tremendous resource. Also in Hayes County, the YMCA is a fantastic resource as well. So that is a great place. If you're looking for assistance and resources, you can contact them. Many of the churches in uh, the Buda area also have food pantries and resources that can help in the community as well. One of the questions we were asked was about the caregiving in Central Texas guide on uh, what version that we have currently. And that guide is put together by the Aging Services Council, which is a group of all of the uh, service organizations in Central Texas area that serve older adults and caregivers. And about every two years or so, they update that guide. And the version that we have now is the one that came out earlier this year. So it is currently up to date. Now, of course, yes. we all know that COVID has affected all of our organizations and our abilities to serve. So it's always a really good idea to call or email first. Number one, just to make sure that they have someone in the office if you're gonna make the drive over there. But some of us have had to limit or adapt or change our programming uh, temporarily. And so it's always a great idea just to touch base with any of these resources to make sure that they still have what you need, or they might have something brand new. In the case of Age of Central Texas, we had to pivot our memory connections program when we were no longer able to meet in person. And so created the memory connections online program, which is a brand new service that we have available in the community. Um, we've got some great questions coming in. Thank you so much for doing that. Mm -hmm. uh, one, of, one of the questions is, uh, do members need to pay for the services that are offered by Age of Central Texas? So we have a couple, uh, we have several programs that are at no cost to, to the individual. And then we do have uh, our Memory Connections online program that is a membership fee. Um, of $100, so please correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Rob. Um, 
And, and then we have our Thrive Social and Wellness Center um, that is also a, a flat rate fee. Um, so, those, so those two programs um, do have a cost. Um, the Caregiver You program um, is, is free to, to the individual. Our Health Equipment Lending Program is free to the individual. Um, the Information and Resource Center and educational opportunities that we offer are also free to you. Um, am I, I think I covered, oh, oh, and our computer lab. We, we have a computer lab and we, we encourage you to, to, to subscribe to that particular, um, you know, email update. Um, Cause we will have some in the future, uh, some future classes offered. Um, and we can provide some assistance right now through that program um, with some computer help. Um, but that is, uh, some of those programs are, are also free and then some of them are, uh, they have a cost um, with classes. Right, and want to note that as a nonprofit organization, um, our programs that do have a cost to them are being offered at much lower cost than our actual cost to deliver them. So for example, with our uh, Thrive Social and Wellness Centers, you know, we're providing a full day of programming, resources, medical oversight, meals, transportation for the older adult who's the member who attends for that $70 charge. But as Natalie noted, we are licensed with Medicaid and we are licensed with veterans uh, aid in attendance. And so if you fall into those categories, there is no cost to you because we would bill Medicaid or we would bill veterans. And of course, we also have sliding scale for all of the programs that we offer. So if cost is a barrier for you, that should never stop you from contacting us or any of the organizations right. because we all our onus is to provide services to those who need them. And so we have sliding scales available for every single service that's available. One of the questions, and it's a great question, was how are we funded if we are um, asking if we're a state organization? No, we are a nonprofit that was founded right here in Central Texas. And so we were founded 35 years ago this year to provide these services in the community. And so another question leading into this was the areas that we cover. So as a local organization, we serve the four counties of Hayes, Travis, Williamson, and Bastrop counties. And that's the areas currently where we have all, all of our programming located. We talked about the Area Agency on Aging. The uh, Area Agency on Aging of the Capital Area covers nine counties in the area. And so if you're joining us from the Lockhart area or from Blanco or from the other areas, they have their services cover those areas as well. Uh, wanted to talk very briefly though about the area agencies on aging. You talked about them that if you're joining us from uh, an area outside of Central Texas, that they're always a great go-to service for you. And we know that a lot of us that we may be living here in the Central Texas area, but we have older relatives living in other parts of the United States. And so the Area Agency on Aging is always a great go-to for you when you're looking for resources. They are funded through the Older Americans Act. And so basically it's your tax money that pays for the area agency on, on aging. And there are different ones in throughout the entire United States. The idea being that every square inch of the US is served by at least one area agency on aging. The one here in the Austin area, the capital area one serves uh, the outlying seven to nine counties. There's one in San Antonio, there's another one up in Dallas and Fort Worth. I think there's two or three in the Houston area. And so wherever you are located, you just Google Area Agency on Aging, put in your zip code, and it'll tell you which one serves you. So that's always a great place to look if you're looking for services outside of this area. Mm -hmm. And if you need help doing that too, you can give us a call. Um, or even the Area Agency on Aging, um, they can help you find that, that, you know, that particular agency that's specific to that county. Um, Let's see. Yeah. And again, their services are available for free. Everything that they present is free because you've already paid for it with your tax money. Mm -hmm. 
And so that's a great resource to tap into. Uh, we have a question about our Caregiver U classes uh, if they and the Memory Connections online program, if they're available to anyone, anywhere. And yes, because they are available online through uh, virtual. Yes, they are available to anyone, anywhere. That's one of the small bright shining stars that came out of the COVID madness is that we all learned how to use Zoom. And yes. so we were able to pivot a lot of our programming to an online platform when we had to stop being able to meet in person. And one of the things that came out of that was that we were able to create this brand new curriculum for the Caregiver U classes that Natalie talked about, that they are kind of a Reader's Digest condensed version of the in-person classes. So they don't go as in-depth in a lot of the information, but it's still the highlights of caring for a loved one, caring for someone who's living with dementia, and then the falls prevention classes. And so they still have tremendous information in them that are really fantastic. And then of course the Memory Connections program, that ongoing program for older adults who are living with cognitive loss is a fantastic opportunity. So for example, you know, we may not live close enough to be able to take advantage of the Thrive Social and Wellness Centers to be able to come to those in person each day, but you can always join us with the Memory Connections Online program and still be able to get those wonderful activities for your older loved one, that socialization that they get because they're getting together with other folks and just being able to have that purpose once again during their day that every day this is something I'm going to get to do that's going to be just for me. Thank you. Uh, and there was a question about the eligibility requirements for the Memory Connections Online. Yes, so there is, a, there is an intake and an assessment process um, uh, with the Memory Connections Online program and also our Thrive Social and Wellness Center um, and that, uh, so, so there is, there is a process. Um, it's, it's a very easy one. Um, but, um, they will, we have, you know, our, our program director and associate who, um, facilitate those assessments and, um, and can talk a little bit more about what those eligibility, um, uh, requirements are, um, in, and, you know, one example is um, keeping, is your person able to stay engaged throughout the entire um, activity? Are they, um, it's a great opportunity to just figure out whether or not this, this program is, is a good fit for, for them and it's going to meet their needs. And so that, that's all discussed in, in the assessment and intake process. Um, and both the caregiver and the care recipient um, have opportunities to, to, you know, obviously ask questions and, and um, also it's a great opportunity to just connect, get connected to additional support um, services that um, can be identified through that assessment and intake process. Um, so we have another question. Um, it says, my husband needs to do a driving test to keep his license. Is there any program to help him practice? So for practicing, um, well, let me get back to you on that because I can, I can try to find something, unless Rob, you have something off the top of your head. But I do want to mention the St. David's Adaptive Driving Program. Um, that is a, a driving assessment as well um, through, the Saint da through St. David's. And we actually had a seminar on that um, not too long ago. We had them uh, actually part of the Williamson County Caregiver Conference, I believe. Um, they came in and, and discussed that particular driving program and um, the assessment that goes into just making sure that your person is still safe uh, while driving and, um, and also keeping everyone else on the road safe. Um, and, and how do we have these conversations? Um, if there is a concern um, around driving and, um, and retiring from, from driving. 
So there are absolutely resources through the St. David's uh, Adaptive Driving Program. And then uh, there are some additional consultants throughout our area that do that um, mm -hmm. uh, privately um, that can assist, can assist with driving evaluations um, and help the family again have those conversations because that's it's a tricky one. Um, right, and we can connect you up with those resources as well. I uh, had another question about respite care. Um, for folks who are not familiar with respite, it is an opportunity for the caregiver to have a little time off during the day. Many of the respite programs in Central Texas are run either by uh, organizations like the YMCA's or by local churches. And they are an opportunity for you to drop your loved one off and they will have a couple of hours of great activities that they get to do so that you get that caregiver break to go and do what you need to do. Run to HEB, go get your hair cut, whatever it is that you need to do. We do have a list of the respite programs that are ongoing here in the Central Texas area. Again, realize that COVID put a stop to most of them temporarily. And so the, many of those are just now starting back up again after an 18 month break. So that's another resource that we can send to you is the list of all the respites that are in the area. Again, we recommend that you contact them first to make sure that they have reopened and they are offering their services again. We've also uh, heard recently from a number of churches that had not offered respite in the past, that now as things are starting to reopen, that they are looking at starting to do those as a service to the community as well. And in general, most of those respite programs are going to be free of charge. They're a service that's offered by the organization to the community. Um, I had mentioned the Area Agency on Aging and the number of counties that they serve. I was off. They actually serve 10 counties in the area. So thank you, Rhonda, for that information. And another shout out for them as well. We had a question about um, Medicare and Medicaid counseling services, uh, particularly in Williamson County. The Area Agency on Aging has benefits counselors that they have year round. And so now that we are in the open enrollment time period where you are picking your new uh, services for your Medicare and Medicaid, uh, you have until I believe it's December 7th is the cutoff date uh, this year when you need to pick your services for next year. Utilize the Area Agency on Aging's benefit counselors. They are experts when it comes to all of the insurance that's available out there in, for healthcare, uh, in, and in particular, Medicare and Medicaid. We know, you know every year Medicare changes, all the supplemental uh, programs change, and what's available, and it's very, very confusing. Yes. And so utilize that program. Uh, just like Rob said, it is, that's confusing. And sometimes it's overwhelming just to receive that booklet. And, and so let the experts help you um, and give them a call. And again, it's, it's at no cost. Um, it's free to you. Um, I, I wanted to see if we have there was also a question about the Capital City Village mm -hmm. as a resource. They're, they are wonderful. Um, it is a volunteer organization um, and it's a membership uh, organization for older adults in the Travis County, Austin area. Um, and they, there, there are lots of ways to, to receive support for, from them. Um, and that can be through even, you know, a, a ride, some transportation, um, if you are a member of their organization. And from what I understand, it is very affordable um, and, and worth it. You also have an opportunity to um, socialize and um, with, with other older adults through activities and um, and I will, I'm going to note that I will share their information too, because they are, they are a wonderful, they're a local nonprofit organization too. And they actually are housed right out of our age building, uh, at, um, our 3710 location, our central Austin location. Um, so yes, uh, Capital City Village is, is that it's a, it's a village of, of older adults, um, that you can find support, uh, through, um, again, it is a membership um, 
uh, organization and you, I believe, have to live in the Austin area um, to be part of that. Um, but yes, they can, they have wonderful people who are part of, part of their organization. There's also another organization uh, called Coming of Age. And for those of you who remember the RSVP program, the Retired Senior Volunteer Program that was around for many, many years, that is what became in the Central Texas area coming of age. It's actually umbrellaed under uh, the Travis County uh, government. And so it is a fantastic opportunity for volunteering. And, for folks who are older. And I know that it's uh, available throughout all of Central Texas. So that would include the Hayes County area. And so it's an opportunity not only to be able to have activities that you can do during the day, but they have a lot of social activities as well and a lot of resources available to the community as well. So that's another one to look for. And they are also listed within that Caregiving in Central Texas guide. A uh, question about if there are any intergenerational programs in our area. Um, you know, once again, COVID shut everything down and so things are starting to reopen, but uh, are there opportunities for intergenerational participation in the area? Um, so our Thrive Center actually used to have an opportunity <laughs> to do that where we had uh, um, uh, local schools, um, or, uh, you know, come in and, and help with activities and spend time with our older adults who are who attend our program. Um, I believe there are some music uh, intergenerational programming here in our area. Um, I do not have that in front of me right now, but I am going to write this down and also include that. I think that's a really great, great question. And I know that there was some kind of like, um, planning conversation uh, on, a, on a larger scale, I think with the city um, or, or an organization that was, you know, wanting to do that. But it's, I know that other areas of the, the United States offer um, some intergenerational programming, um, which I think is just so valuable. Um, yeah, and uh, the, the senior centers throughout the area, um, both the ones that are the park and rec centers and then organizations like the Onion Creek Senior Center uh, are looking into being able to offer intergenerational programming in addition to the YMCA's. So the YMCA mm -hmm. of Hayes County does have quite a bit of services as well, uh, along with if you're in the Kyle area, the Kyle area senior zone, which is their senior uh, organization is looking into that as well. So once again, you know, things are starting to reopen now. Uh, we know here in the Austin area that the Parks and Rec Senior Centers have not completely reopened yet, but they're going to start reopening in December and uh, they provide those congregate meal opportunities during the week and then also activities for older adults to be able to participate in as well. So those are starting to come back again uh, along with the churches being able to offer programming for the community and organizations like ours that are reopening a lot of our programming as well. For caregivers, I want to make a plug for you to you for our caregiver conferences that we offer every year. Age of Central Texas partners with a number of organizations throughout Central Texas to offer conferences every year designed for caregivers to bring you experts from all over the nation, really, to present on caregiving issues. We just wrapped, as Natalie mentioned, our Williamson County Caregiver Conference, and we had our 20th anniversary Striking a Balance Caregiver Conference in August. And so we're starting to look at the new year for all of our conferences, and we have two big events coming up that will be in February. And we will be sure and send you information on both of these as we get closer to the dates and registration becomes available. But we created a wonderful program called the Caregiver Training Camp. Uh, this was in response to some assistance we were providing up in Georgetown to the Williamson County EMS and realized that there was a real need for folks who were just starting in their caregiving journey that they were just beginning to start caring for the loved one and weren't sure 
where to find resources, not sure what I need to be doing and getting prepared for this caregiving journey. So we created the caregiver training camp to help caregivers who are in the early stage to be able to start off on the right foot. And that event is going to be on February the 5th, which is a Saturday. And it's going to be a hybrid event as will all of our caregiving uh, programming coming now moving forward, where we will be able to, you can come in person and be in the room with all the other caregivers, or you can join us live on Zoom if you're not able to make it physically to wherever we're offering the caregiving event. Uh, we also like this presentation, record all of them and they are available almost immediately after the fact on the AGE YouTube channel. And so you have those three wonderful opportunities. You can be there in person, you can join us live via uh, the internet, or you'll be able to watch all of the presentations after the fact and be able to go back and see them. So that would be one great opportunity is that uh, caregiver training camp that will be uh, in February on February 5th. And then we partner with the Riverbend Church out on Loop 360 here in the west part of Austin for their GPS caregiver uh, conference each year. And this year it will be on Saturday, February 26th. Again, it'll be in person at the church and then also we'll be broadcasting it live on Zoom and recording all the sessions. And we are bringing in Tam Cummings, Dr. Tam Cummings, who is a nationally renowned expert on dementia and aging, and she is going to be our keynote speaker for that present, uh, that particular conference. So it's going to be a really wonderful opportunity for caregivers to get a lot of very vital information on caregiving. Uh, then later in the year, we will have our Pflugerville Seniors Conference that'll be in May. We'll be doing our Striking a Balance Caregiver Conference again in August. Uh, and then we're adding a brand new conference this next year, particularly for those in our community who are LGBTQ caregivers. And we're going to be starting a brand new caregiver conference for those folks in our community. That will be starting in June, and we're still working on the details on that. We always post all this information on our AGE website. It's also on our AGE Facebook page. And we will always as well send the information to you well in advance, since now that you've registered for this wonderful conference, we'll be able to send information directly to you. Um, I just wanted to mention one thing too, um, related to Medicare and Medicaid. Um, I mean, we could honestly be here all day long and I could talk to you about all the wonderful resources in our area, but um, everyone, you know, that, that would just be too long. Um, I do want to mention that if there is anyone who is in need of um, assistance with applying for Medicaid and specifically with, you know, needs assistance with the application process, we have really great resources in our area that offer that for free. Um, and that's through the Texas Community Partner Program. Um, they also have a great website, and I'm going to also include this in, in the all the wonderful information everyone will receive. Um, they have a website that you can go to, you can plug in your zip code, and that will also generate a list of nearby locations that you can call um, to help you uh, through that application process. Um, if So again, if you are in the process of a, or interested in, in looking into that and applying for Medicaid, not Medicare, Medicaid, the state benefit, um, I encourage you to, to seek out some assistance with that application because that too can be a little bit um, overwhelming and confusing, and you want to do it right the first time and check off all the boxes that need to be checked off um, so that when it's submitted, it's it's good to go. Um, so I just wanted to mention that because I know that there was a, a Medicaid and Medicare question earlier, that there is support with, um, you know, not only the Medicare side of that federal program through, you know, plans and information and all of that through our area agency on aging, but there is also uh, assistance with Medicaid state, that state program application assistance. So, um, And in the last few, last few minutes that we have here, I just wanted to note that, you know, aging and caregiving is, 
can often be a difficult process because we often encounter a lot of needs um, as we age and as we're taking care of older loved ones. And we're not really sure where to find those resources that we need. And so that's why organizations like Age of Central Texas, the Area Agency on Aging, Alzheimer's Association, all of these great partners here in the Central Texas area, that's why we exist, is to help you to connect the dots, to find the resources that you need, to be that shoulder to cry on if you need it, and to help give you the advice, the education, the support, the programs that you need to be able to take this journey successfully. That's what we all want. We, want, we all want to age with dignity. We want to age successfully. And we understand that sometimes we need help in doing that. So I always say this whenever we have a session, but I want to remind everyone there is never, ever any shame in asking for help. All of us need help at some point in our life. And so asking for that help does not make you less of a person. It doesn't make you less of a caregiver. It mainly, all you're doing is saying, I don't know how to do this particular thing, or I don't know where to find this particular thing. Can you point me in the right direction? So never feel afraid to ask any of us for assistance. Don't feel afraid to call us five, six, seven times for help. That's why we're here. We're here to provide you with those resources. So please take advantage of us because that's why we're here is to help you out with all of that. Also wanted to note that Age of Central Texas is building a brand new center in South Austin. We have been planning this for quite a while, and we're on the verge, finally, of being able to break ground. We're going to build a brand new center in South Austin in the South Park Meadows area, down there right behind the Target. And we are very hopeful that in this new year, we're going to be able to break ground and that within about a year to 18 months, we'll have a new center that will be open that will have all of our services and programming there. So we will have a Thrive Social and Wellness Center that will be licensed for 75. So for all you folks down in the Hayes County area, out in Bastrop, Dripping Springs, Wimberley, we're coming your direction with those services. We'll also have a navigation center there with resources. We'll have our health equipment lending. We will have our um, caregiver U will be uh, headquartered there as well. So all of those services that we've talked about today, we're going to have much closer to everyone who's living in the South area. We are also working on expanding all of our programming both up in the Williamson County area and in the outlying areas as well. We know that many of the folks who uh, need services no longer live right in the core of Austin. And so many people have had to move out into the fringes of Central Texas. And also that's where a lot of folks that are moving to our area are relocating. And so we've been working very diligently on being able to expand our services throughout this four, whole four county region, as have all of our partners. So if you need something where you are, don't know where to find it, get in touch with us, get in touch with Area Age Sound Aging. We will make sure that we find you those resources where you are living. Thank you. Uh, that was, I love that you put all of that in there too. That's exciting. I'm excited for the South Building. Um, I also want to just plug in again um, that I am, uh, I do facilitate a caregiver support group at the Onion Creek Senior Center, um, and you will receive that information too. Um, it's it's non-disease specific, so any family caregiver is welcome to attend. Um, we meet on the third Tuesday of the month from 12 to 1. And um, like I mentioned, we, we are meeting in person now. We do have a Zoom option. So I always have my computer with me if you can't make it, but you wanna join you know, uh, via Zoom, you have that option. Um, I also, I don't know if there are any adult child caregivers on the call today, but I do facilitate a virtual support group for adult children caring for uh, a parent. And so, um, Again, you just reach out if you're interested in um, those groups or any, any of the information that we send out. You can reach out, reach out to us and we can help, uh, we can help you through, through connecting and, and making sure you get to the right person, so. Yes, and Age also has a long running support 
group for caregivers that is in the Williamson County area. Mm -hmm. uh, it's meeting virtually currently and one also that is for uh, the meets here in the Austin area as well, which currently is meeting virtually. And there are many other support groups from all of our partner organizations as well throughout the area. So there's always one that you can find. And as Natalie mentioned, those support groups are a tremendous help if you're a caregiver. It's an opportunity to share in a room with other caregivers where everything that we say stays in the room, but it's an opportunity just to get things out and to ask questions of other caregivers. You know, how did you handle this when this happened? Or do you know some, a doctor who can do this? Or it's, you know, you've got a room full of tremendous resource right there. But most importantly, it's time for you. It is your opportunity to take a break, recharge your battery, take a breath and to just refill your cup so that you are ready to jump back into caring for that loved one. Thank you. And thank you all for, for attending today and spending time with us. Um, we hope that you uh, got a lot out of the presentation. And if, you know, we always, always appreciate uh, and uh, your feedback. So please fill out the survey. Um, we want to make sure that we're covering topics that are helpful to you. And that's how we build on our planning is through the, your feedback. So, um, and, and so, so fill out that survey and send it to us. And it's not very long, it's just a few questions. And, um, and so we can get uh, the topics that are most important to you um, together and organized. Yes. And also just one final plug for the Age of Central Texas website. It is age, A-G-E, of centraltx.org. We have a lot of caregiver resources on that website. We have videos from previous events. We have a series of videos that we did for caregivers answering caregiver questions. We have links to all of these resources that are available in the community. So lots of great resources there. You just go to our website up at the top of the very banner. It says caregiver resources. Click on it. It'll take you straight there. And one of the things that we created when COVID started and have continued to maintain was activities that you can do at home with your loved one that you can, while we were all stuck at home and had no way of being able to get to respite programs or the Thrive Centers or any of the things that were open, we created a big long list of wonderful things that you can do. So if you're a caregiver and you're stuck with something to do for the day, take a look at the list. There are museums that you can tour online. There are webcams that you can go watch the elephants in Africa at the watering holes. There are just tons of amazing resources on there. So that's another opportunity for caregivers to be able to utilize. We wanna thank you once again for joining us. We know that it takes some of your time out of your day to participate with us today. So as Natalie noted, we hope this has been helpful for you. And once again, anytime we can be of service, give us a call, send us an email, let us know how we can help you in your journey because that's why we're here. We'll be sending you not only the slides from today, but also a lot of other wonderful resources so that you will know what's available to you in the area. If you have a specific question that you didn't get a chance to ask, be sure and let us know because that's why we're here is to help you out on that journey. We hope that you have a wonderful rest of the day. We hope you stay warm for the rest of the day and that you have a fantastic holiday season as well. Natalie, thank you so much for sharing all the great information. Thank you for joining us today and we hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. Bye everyone. Bye-bye.